Hello all and welcome. In today's video, we're going to walk through creating shared displays for a video expert. The first step in setting up shared displays for video expert is making sure that the op center client is set to auto login. In order to do this, we want to click on start. In the search bar, we want to type in net p l w i z and then press enter. Once here, uncheck users must enter a username and password to use this computer. Once unchecked, click apply. Once we apply it, you'll need to enter the default password, which is capital P-E-L 289-9100. Then confirm it and click OK. Once this is done, restart the Op Center client and validate that the system now logs in automatically. With the Op Center client now set to automatically log in, we can move on to the next step to setting up the shared display, and that is configuring the Op Center client. So now that we've configured Windows to automatically start, the next portion of this, we're going to configure the Op Center client to run as a shared display. Now, we've said shared display several times. You might commonly refer to this as a monitor wall. The process that we're walking you through will create a monitor wall using the VX Op Center client. Now to get this process started, let's double click on the VX Op Center icon located on the desktop. With that open, now we're going to give it a name. Let's go ahead and call this Share Display 1. This lets us identify that this workstation is running as a shared display. With that now done, let's create a user to log into this. This user is just going to be given basic functionality, but more importantly, it's going to give it access to run as a shared display. Now, under workstation mode, we're going to select shared display. A very important note here. This only supports single monitors only. If a second monitor is connected, it will then need to be disconnected and the op center restarted. Once in here, we're going to need to give it a monitor number. Since this is our first monitor, we're going to assign one. Next, we're going to want to input our CMG server IP address. Now, if this is a dual CMG setup, then we're going to need to enter the virtual IP address. We want to leave the rest of the configuration information set to default. Once this information has been entered, click on Test Connection. You will be prompted to enter the username and password for the CMG server. Once connection is successful, click Save. A note on inputting the CMG server user and password. If this is being used with Video Expert ASCII integration, then the user entered here must have an administrative role. Now we will need to input the NTP IP address. This is to keep the system time synced and is required by Video Expert. Now let's rewind real quickly and just go over the settings that we configured. Here we gave it a workstation name, Shared Display 1. This indicated this is a shared display VX Op Center and it's our first monitor. Next, we gave it a username and a password. This username gave it access to basic VX Op Center settings, including VX System Connections, Shared Display, and Decoder settings. Once that was done, we proceeded on 
to workstation mode shared display. Next, we configured the system that this op center shared display is going to connect to. We gave it a name, entered the server IP address for the CMG, and remember, if this is a dual CMG system, we want to use the virtual IP address. All other settings we did accept the default for, and lastly we finished that up by verifying this could connect to the test system. This is signified by the connection successful. Once we connected the remote system that this is going to connect to, we came back in and input again the admin password and username. Now this password and username must exist on the VX system it is connecting to. We then added the NTP server address. This completed the configuration to turn this VX Ops Center into a shared display or monitor wall. With our settings now verified, we're going to click apply and wait until it's done loading. Once it's done loading, we can click the VX connections and we'll see that the system we added is there. With that done, we can click OK and wait for the Ops Center to restart. Once the shared display is launched, it can be closed by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner. With now our system set to automatically load Windows, VX Op Center now set as a shared display, we can move on to the final process, and that is saving a tab in Op Center that we're going to send to the shared display to be displayed. So now let's go ahead and open our Op Center. Once Op Center is open, log in with the appropriate credentials for this workstation. Also make sure to verify the system we're connecting to is the same that we configured our shared display to connect to. Once Op Center is open, select a camera grid that we would like to display cameras on. Once we do that, drag and drop the cameras to the grid in the order in which you would like them to display. Once we have our cameras in the grid that we like, we want to go up to the upper left hand corner to file and save as. We're going to need to name our tab now. Now a key point here is that the names must be unique. They cannot be identical. So let's go over the options we have in the two checkboxes below. The first which is the one we're going to select is save as a global tab. This allows anyone to be able to see this tab. This is going to be our default selection when creating a shared display. Collaborative means that anyone will be able to modify this dynamically and see those changes immediately on the shared display. Lastly, shortcut. This allows us to create shortcut keys on our keyboard that allows us to call up this tab With the view now saved, we can see the tab name has changed to the name that we selected. On the mission control dot, by clicking on save tabs, we can see our saved view. If we were to close the camera grid and double click that saved view, it will bring up our saved camera configuration. We can also right click that to be able to edit it. In order to send this to our shared display or monitor wall, we go to File. We then click on Send To. Once we click that, it'll allow us to select any of our saved tabs to send to our monitor wall. Our last step is to click Destination. From here, we'll click our shared display 1. We'll verify that and then click Launch. Our selected display tab will now be shown on our monitor wall. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered.